wanted to give you an update on my 3D printed beehive. A while back my queen died and eventually all my bees died off. And I had a lot of people ask me how I would go about getting the honey out of these hives. So in this video I'm going to show you how I do that. first thing I do is I remove the pins from the corners where the sides are put together. Now I'm doing this inside but if you still had bees in, in it you would have to go outside and wear your protective suit but since all my bees have uh, already died I just went ahead and did it inside. Once the pins are removed then you can pull the side pieces apart. They may be stuck a little from the uh, beeswax that's been deposited around the edges. And I remove the glass off the front. Then I remove the back. And I remove one of the two frames that are in each section. And there's a white honeycomb on both sides of the frame. Then I just place it inside of a, a large bowl. Really needed a bowl a little larger than this, but I may do with it. Then I take a, a putty knife and I scrape the uh, foundation of it and I scrape off all the honeycomb and just let it fall into the bowl. And this, this foundation is a plastic foundation, so the putty knife can slide along it uh, real easily and just scrape every bit of it off. Now, I didn't scrape all the way to the edge on this side because there was no honey in there. It was just comb, so I just left that edge over there and didn't scrape that off. Then I turn it around and do the same thing on the, the back side of it.
Then I, I bought this press on Amazon and I 3D printed a little tray to go on the bottom of the press. It had a bucket that went under it with a little spout, but I wasn't really satisfied with it. It was a very small hole and it wasn't even on the bottom of the bucket. And so I wanted something that was angled and would drain the honey out better. So I 3D printed that little yellow piece on the bottom. And I just placed a jar under the, the spout where it's going to flow out of the press. And then I just took and uh, spooned the, the, the comb and the honey that's in the bowl into the press. And this was kind of messy, but uh, when dealing with honey, I don't think there's a way to do it where you don't make a mess. Uh, it, no matter what you do, it's, it's going to be a sticky mess. I decided a spatula would work better than the the putty knife. And this little press, the it has little holes around the sides of that bucket, and the bottom of it has holes in it as well that when you start tightening the press down, it'll, it'll squeeze all the, the honey out of the comb. I got a strainer and put over the jar just to catch any um, comb that might uh, seep out through the holes in the press. And so then you just screw the handle down and it presses down on all the comb. And you can see the, the honey coming out of the holes on the side of the press and going down the little tray and into my jar. So it'll go through that strainer and it'll help filter out anything that might have made it through the press. It took quite a while to, for this honey to drain. It's very slow. So it, it took several hours for it all to to drain out and every, every little bit I would come back and tighten the press up a little bit more.
I was really surprised at how much honey I got out of it. I ended up with a little over two gallons of honey uh, out of my indoor beehive. Uh, I'm sure they would have eaten some of this had they have survived and lived through the winter. But uh, if you'd like to see some of the videos about my beehive before this one, there'll be some links in the description below. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.